Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be covering some recent news that just came out about the Very Good Food Company. This is a stock I've talked about on the channel before multiple times. I own shares of Very Good Food and I'm looking to average down and add to that position in the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to walk you guys through some recent developments and let you know my thinking on this company moving forward. Now before we get into it, please take a second to smash that like button. It's 100% free to do and it really helps me and the channel out in a big way. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to do so. McNally Money just crossed the 1100 subscriber milestone and I really wanted to thank each and every one of you for your support. And finally, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below on what you think of Very Good Food, the recent news that this company's put out, and if you're currently holding shares of this company. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro clip and get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today we're going to be talking about the Very Good Food Company, ticker symbol Very, on the TSX Venture. Now this is a stock I've talked about a number of times on the channel. I currently hold 500 shares of this company at an average price of 585. So I am down a little bit on the position, but honestly I'm taking advantage of this dip and averaging down on my position. Now Very Good Food Company had a huge day on Tuesday. They actually were up nearly 50 cents a share, almost 12%, and closed out the day at $4.40 Canadian. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to refresh and talk about this company again. The second was they've had a number of big recent news articles come out, including some earnings that I wanted to quickly refresh you guys on and talk about because I think this stock is really a diamond in the rough and it's set up for some massive growth in 2021 and beyond. So I'm going to take you guys through a few of these articles and talk about this stock in a little bit more detail. Now if you haven't watched my other videos on Very Good Food Company, I would highly encourage you to do so because this one is more of a refresher than a deep dive on the stock itself. Now based on that big share price jump on Tuesday, the company closed at a market cap of 425 million Canadian. You can see that they hit a low here of about $3.52 on May 13th and they've been trending upward fairly consistently since that day. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the company, if you scroll down on the right here, it really gives a good synopsis or summary of what Very Good Food Company does. So they're a plant-based food technology company who design, develop, produce, distribute and sell a variety of plant-based meats and other food alternatives. Most recently they've just added cheese to their menu or their offering in both Canada and the United States. So very similar to a Beyond Meat, but a fraction of the size, Very Good Food Company was incorporated in 2016 and it's based in Vancouver, Canada. Now if we jump over to my YouTube account here, you can see one of my videos talking about Very Good Food Company. This was published March 22nd. It got just about 2,000 views, so a fairly popular stock with 81 likes and only one dislike. And this was a video where I was actually calling out my top two penny stock picks to buy now. So interestingly enough, they both started with V, the Valance Company, which has been on an absolute tear since this point in time, and Very Good Food Company, which we're talking about right now. Now on March 22nd, Very Good Food Company closed at $5.38. So even after yesterday's huge move, you can still get it for a dollar less than you could have on March 22nd when that original video was published. So there's three pieces of news I wanted to talk about in this video and then we'll give a quick refresher on their Q4 and 2020 fiscal year end results. Now I'm going to go through the news articles in order of most recent to least recent. So the first one we're going to talk about here actually came out yesterday on Tuesday, May 18th. And this one's talking about the Very Good Food Company starting to produce finished products ready for sale from their newest Rupert production facility in Vancouver. And in addition to that, they're now achieving new production targets at their existing Victoria facility as well. Now, two things that are interesting about this new facility. Number one is the speed at which they were able to bring this thing to market. So they only commissioned line one at this location in April of 2021. So only a couple of months ago, they had to build it out, test all the products, get everything up and running smoothly. And they were able to do that in only about six weeks time. Now at this new location, they're actually going to be producing a number of different SKUs. So very good burgers, smoking burgers, their British bangers, 
very good steak, very good dog, and very good pepperoni. I've tried a number of these and they honestly are very good. You guys, I would highly recommend you order a box for yourself and try these products out if you're looking to invest in this company. Now in terms of the markets they're gonna be serving from this location, they're gonna use the Rupert facility to service fast growing demand across North America and prepare for their upcoming launch of their online sales platform in the United Kingdom. So that's a very big catalyst for this company as well because they're now starting to branch out and get exposure outside of North America. So the CEO Mitchell Scott comments on the speed at which they were able to bring this to market. Not only are we delivering on our ambitious production goals, but doing so flawlessly and in record time. So on top of the activity at their new Rupert facility located in Vancouver, they also announced that they've achieved new production targets at their existing Victoria facility and they've now increased production by 20% from their previous run rate of about 20,000 pounds per week, which they were getting in December of 2020. And they really attribute that to new and improved equipment and hiring of additional staff. So as an investor in this company, you guys, there's a number of things I really took away from this article. Number one, you guys, is their ability to execute on their plan or strategy in a very short amount of time and with no mistakes or no major issues to mention. In addition to that, they have plans to expand internationally and increase their market penetration in the United States, which we're gonna talk about in a second here. And finally, there's a massive demand for this stuff because they're bringing on a new facility and they're having to increase production limits at their existing Victoria facility. So the demand's there, the production's coming online, and the growth strategy is shaping up to make Very Good Food Company a major player in this space over the next couple of years. Now the second article we're gonna talk about here is actually Very Good Food Company relaunching their new cheese brand under the Very Good umbrella or banner. Now they just recently purchased this company called The Cultured Nut which actually specializes in plant-based cheeses. So it's very complimentary to their business. And this was actually their first truly accretive acquisition. So that was great. That was huge news that came out about three months ago. And they're now launching five new SKUs under the Very Good Food Company banner. So again, it demonstrates their ability to bring products to market and to operationalize their ideas in a very short amount of time. Now, in addition to actually recreating the SKUs and the product themselves, they did have to create some new marketing collateral and branding for these products. So really demonstrates the full team's effort to bring this product to market. Now, again, the CEO, Mitchell Scott, gives his thoughts on the situation. I'm very proud of the very good team's quick execution on our strategy allowing us to enter the plant-based cheese market in record time. We completed the transaction in February and we'll have created a new brand, redesigned packaging, and relaunched key SKUs in less than 16 weeks. Now in terms of the numbers, Very Good Food Company is actually estimating the plant-based dairy market, which excludes the plant-based milk, to be about 1.9 billion US dollars in 2020, with the actual cheese component of that making up about 270 million dollars US. And that segment actually saw 42% year over year growth. So for me as an investor in this company, I'm very excited to see they're expanding their brand portfolio. They're starting to offer new products and they're getting into other areas of the vegan or plant-based food industry as we're starting to see huge growth and a lot of consumers really switching to these alternative products. Now, if we jump over to their website, this is what the cultured nut cheese products actually looked like. You can see every single one of them is sold out. So that's definitely encouraging as well. They've got all different kinds, sharp cheddar, pepper jack, garlic cheese, even Gouda and mozzarella alternatives. And all of them have a minimum rating of at least three and a half stars and retail for between 10 to $13 Canadian. So this is the old branding, and this is actually what the new branding is gonna look like here. So very similar look and feel to the old cultured nut packaging, but it definitely has a refreshed feel and is very on brand when you look at their meat products compared to their cheese products. Now, one thing I had to call out on this slide, you guys, is their Gouda offering, which they've actually branded as Good AF. So very fun, fresh, and playful which I think will resonate very well with their target market or consumer. 
So the third and final article that I wanted to talk about here actually came out about 12 days ago, so still very recent. And this talks about Very Good Food Company's partnership with one of the biggest retail food distributors in all of the United States. So UNFI, which stands for United Natural Foods, is the largest publicly traded wholesale distributor of health and specialty food in all of North America. So UNFI distributes over 250,000 natural, organic, and conventional products to more than 30,000 retailers, including natural product superstores, independent retailers, conventional supermarket chains, e-commerce retailers, and food service industry customers across the United States and Canada with 58 distribution centers. So this distribution agreement is significantly going to help Very Good Food bring their products to market and get into new locations and retailers. Now if you scroll down here you can see that they currently have 14 different SKUs and they offer their products in 1300 distribution points. So if you compare that number to the numbers we saw here in the 30,000 range, it's easy to see why investors and Very Good Food Company are so excited about this partnership. Now again we have comments from the CEO here. As more households recognize the benefits that come from incorporating tasty, healthy, low-processed, plant-based options into their diet, it is critical to the Very Good Food Company's success that we partner with an established and respected wholesale distributor. UNFI is not only one of the largest food distributors in North America, but they understand and support our steadfast mission to provide our customers plant-based food products that are delicious while maintaining a wholesome nutritional profile. So extremely good matchup in terms of their distribution goals and their corporate culture and company vision. Now if you continue to read through this paragraph, you can see they talk about Very Good Foods fourth quarter and 2020 year-end results where they saw nearly 365% increase in revenue which landed them at about 4.6 million in top line revenue for the full fiscal and that's exactly what we're going to talk about next here in this video. So now that we've talked about their recent share price movement, some of the recent news articles and big developments that have come out about this company, I wanted to just give a quick refresher on their actual year-end results, which came out about 22 days ago now. Now, I already mentioned their revenue, but if you scroll down in this article, you can actually see a number of other high-level results worth mentioning. So one that stood out for me was actually their e-commerce sales, which increased 1,400% and represented about $3.4 million of the total 4.6 that they brought in in fiscal 2020. So you can see they have a very strong e-commerce platform and I think now that they're gonna pair that up with an expanded distribution network and more and more retail locations, I see tremendous growth in the next couple years for this company. Now the remaining revenue is generated through wholesale activity. That represented about 840,000 and that was up about 440% compared to 2019 as well. So both divisions showed very healthy growth, but I really think e-commerce benefited in a big way from the pandemic situation and Very Good Food Company is really setting themselves up for return to normal growth once the pandemic conditions subside and people start going back into brick and mortar retail locations. Now Very Good Food Company posted adjusted gross profit of $1.5 million or 32% of revenue in 2020 compared to 156 or 16% of revenue in 2019. So not only did the adjusted gross profit increased by about tenfold, but the percentage doubled as well. In terms of adjusted EBITDA, they recorded a loss of 8.3 million compared to 1.3 in 2019. This is understandable because they're obviously spending a lot of money to get this business up and running and to acquire all the pieces that they need to become a major player in this space. So for me, you guys, very good food company is executing on a very high level. They're bringing new products online, they're making accretive acquisitions, they're signing new distribution agreements, they're showing huge e-commerce growth. There's so many things that I love about this company, not to mention the industry itself on a macro scale, I'm very bullish on. I think a lot of people are really starting to care about what they put into their bodies. They're becoming a lot more conscious of the environment. And I think companies like Beyond Meat and Very Good Food Company are in a perfect position to take advantage of that trend. So as mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be averaging down and adding shares of this company to my portfolio. Right now I'm holding 500 shares. 
I'd like to get that up in the 1 to 2,000 share count range. As always, you guys, I'll keep you posted if and when I do decide to pull the trigger so you guys can follow along if you wish. Now, if you haven't already, please take a second to smash that like button. I promise it's 100% free to do. It takes a second of your time and it really helps me and the channel out in a big way. If you're not already subscribed to the channel McNally Money, take a second to do so and leave a comment in the section below on what you think of the Very Good Food Company, the recent news that they've put out, and if you're currently holding shares of this company. Now on a final note you guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.